Welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic Clothing Store Management System. So let's see the requirements of this code. First, you require an IDE for running and compiling the source code. Second, you require code blocks or VS code or any other text editor for a better experience. Third, you require Windows 10 operating system or any other latest version. So now we'll go to the code part and we'll see how does this actually work. So here we have this clothing store.cpp as you can see first we have included all the header files then we have uh, ha we have some defined clauses of enter backspace space and tab then there is a these are basically the keys in the keyboard right then we have a uh, function named void color where we are taking a parameter as int or gc where we have void color handle parameter and screen buffer information then what we have have we have a structure named goods where we have all the goods attributes like the item name item quantity item id cost and number then then there are certain func functions which we will be des describing or we will be explaining together at the as we proceed it is welcome title login menu title delete product and go to explain then what we have Again, we have certain functions that is add goods, read goods, search goods, edit goods, total bill, and main function. So now let's look at all of these functions one by one. In welcome function, you can see it says welcome to one person clothing store, and you have to enter any key to contain. To log in into the system, you need to have a username and passcode, right? So the username is user and the passcode is pass. It will ask you to enter the details for login. Then if it is successful, it says login is successful and one person clothing store extends your, your warm welcome. Then the system will be loaded. We have a sleep timer of 500 milliseconds. Then it asks you to enter any key to continue. And if the login is unsuccessful, it says sorry login unsuccessful, try again. Then if you have reached the limit of unsuccessful tries, it says you have reached your limits. Try to log in four times. Then this is your display where you have seven options to add, delete, search, view, edit, calculate and exit from the system. So these are the various operations which you can do. Accordingly, all these functions will be called and if anything else you get to type, it says invalid choice. Now let's see all these functions one by one. In add goods function, you have to enter the item details and these things will be saved in the next file.dat. This is a file. So basically, we are using the file procedure here or file handling procedure here. Then item code needs to be displayed, needs to be entered by you, it will be displayed further. Then if that product code already exists in the system, it says this product code already exists. If the entry is invalid, it says invalid entry, try again. Then what is there? The item brand. Again, you have to enter or it shows you the item brand which you need to enter. And if anything invalid or Absurd, you type, it says invalid entry, try again. Then the cost, the cost limit, everything will be displayed to you accordingly. You need to enter and everything will be stored in this file. Next file.dat. Then for the search goods again, you have to enter the name to search. Accordingly, the target file will be reached and it will be displayed on the screen. If the record is found well and good, in this format, the record will be displayed. And if it is not found, then there is no such record found, so you have to get into the main menu again. For delete product, again you need to write the name of the product which you want to delete. And if the product is available, then it deletes it. And if you have entered something incorrect, it says unsuccessful try and record has been not found. Whatever you are deleting, you have to have a backup. Like in future, you may require it. So for that, you have a temp file or DAT. Accordingly, you need to get in all the thing which you which is required gets stored there. Then total bill, this is a total bill which needs to be produced. That is the quantity of the item to be sold, value of the item, discount percentage and the tax. Accordingly, everything will be added, subtracted, the max will be done and the, the total bill will be displayed. The re read goods, this needs to be read, like whatever goods are there, that needs to be read from the next file.dat. Then let's go to the edit goods. 
here if you want to edit like you are the owner right so if you want to edit a certain number of goods a certain item a certain a certain item needs to be added a certain item needs to be deleted so accordingly you can do it you need to modify any item you need to add a new brand you need to delete a continuing brand so accordingly you can do that then if so these are the, for this edit one if you want to change the price limit the price range if you want to update one or more thing like if some updates need to be made like you need you got a new product you got a new brand you need to have it in your clothing store so that can be do, done like the end, endorsements the sponsorships that can be taken into account so i hope you understood the working of this code now let me run it and show it to you so i ran the code let's see what okay it says welcome and it shows the timing so i have to enter the username was user the passcode was pass this user read the password was pass it says login unsuccessful let us go and again try it okay so here Uh, my username was. See, yeah, admin and admin. I'm sorry, I got it wrong. It's admin and admin. So okay, let me type admin. A D M I N. Passcode is admin. So it says login successful and one percent the loading string extends your warm welcome. So it says percent to continue. So what we are going to do? We are going to add new item. So I press here one. My item code is say twelve. Item name is uh what can say shorts. Those are familiar of shorts. Item brand let's say Zara. And in dollars its price let's keep it as five hundred dollars. And two quantities are there. Let me ah uh, do something else. Thirteen. Okay. My item name will be say long frock. Okay. So I can't take it. Okay. okay. I guess it's already there. Item code is not. Okay. It says me item name. Okay. 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 Item name is say jeans. Item brand. Let's keep it as Gucci. And this price is somewhat two thousand dollars, and I have four supplies of this. So let us go to the main menu now. Let me search for item right now. Item was jeans. So this was my item. Correct. Now let me press enter to go to the main menu. Okay. So I hope you understood the working of this code. For more interesting project ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thank you.